Hi, my name is Paul from Physics. Hi, this is a question dealing with the Doppler shift. So we have a police siren that is racing towards you, the observer, hopefully not chasing you down. This police siren has an alternating frequency of 500 hertz to 1000 hertz. And we're asked to work out what is the perceived frequency that the observer will pick up. So this requires our understanding of the formula dealing with the Doppler shift in terms of Doppler shift involving sound, mechanical waves. And so what we have is our frequency of our perception, what we observe, is equal to the frequency that is emitted. And this is multiplied by the velocity of the wave plus the velocity of the observer over the velocity of the wave minus the velocity of the source. Now this is a case where it is approaching. In other words, we have an increase in frequency. So you can see that if the observer is moving then towards the object, then it's going to have a larger value over here. If the source is moving, then what we're going to give it is to have a smaller value here. And both of those, of course, can take place. Now, strictly speaking, I can also modify this formula to suggest also what happens if it's receding away. And so what we do is do a minus over here and a plus over here. And that's referring to the situation where the object is moving away. In this case, of course, we're only interested in the approaching. So we're just going to deal with the plus at the top and the minus down the bottom. Now, all we now need to do is write down the values we've got. Now, I'm going to do this, first of all, only for 500. And so 500 outside of, now the velocity of the wave is this velocity of sound. So we're going to make that 341. Now, the observer is not moving. So this is going to be simply plus zero. And then this is going to be divided by the 341, and now it's minus the velocity of the source. We're told that the police car is moving at 40 meters per second, so we're going to do 40. And I've left off the units here, you know there should be units there, of course. And when you calculate that out, you're going to get a value of 566.4 hertz. And so that's the perceived frequency as the car approaches. Now, what about the 1000 hertz? Well, since this is twice that amount, the other one is going to be twice amount of that as well. And you're going to get a value of 1132.8 hertz. So that's just twice the amount. So there you have it, the two frequencies as they are perceived by the observer. Now I also asked what two other things change? Well, first of all, is that as the car approaches, you're gonna get an increase in the amplitude or the loudness of the sound. So that's gonna change as it approaches the observer as well. The second thing is to change is that the fact that the frequency of the alternation of the 500 to 1000 back and forth, well, that is also going to increase as well. So it's going to start off by a particular frequency, that alternation of those two frequencies, and it is going to get a little bit faster from your perception. So if the police car is alternating at, let's say, at two hertz, then this fraction will be the increase that you will perceive it at. Anyway, my name is Paul from Physics High. I hope that has helped you understand the Doppler shift formula. Take care. Bye for now.